Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is the old airman, Lawrence Guidry, talking to you for, to, uh, direct from the heart of uh, Ozark Mountains in southwest Missouri. Good evening, folks, my friends. To, to, this evening, I have something, uh, again, on the update of the coronavirus or COVID-19. Uh, you may find this interesting. I thought you may, so we'll, we'll, we'll tr give it a try. And don't forget, folks, Press on, click on the subscribe button if you will. You'd help me out. Tell your friends and family about me. Thank you. They see the excuse me. I'm I'm really messing up already, folks. Excuse me. The FDA issued an emergency use authorization to e Everly Well Incorporated for Everly Well COVID-19 test home collection kit. Now that's something different, isn't it, folks? Under separate authorizations, the FDA also allows two COVID-19 diagnostic tests to be used at the laboratories for the, for the at-home samples. Wow. The authorization of COVID-19 at-home collection kit that, ha that can be used with multiple tests at multiple labs not only provides increased patient access to tests, but also protects others from potential exposure. Jeffrey Shuren, MD, Director of the FDA Center for Devices and Radiological Health, said the news release, said in the news release, people can use the kit at home after completing an online questionnaire. That sounds simple enough, doesn't it, folks? Which is reviewed by doctor. The kit has nasal swabs to collect the samples. The then patients put the swab in a saline tube for transport, which they can ship overnight to Pacific Lab, either Fulgen Therapeutics or Assurance Scientific Laboratories that is authorized to test the at-home samples. I wonder how much it's going to cost us, huh? Once results are ready, patients can check them through Ever Everly Wells online portal or the company's network of doctors. Although the FDA previously issued two emergency use authorization for at-home diagnostic tests, the Everly Well Collection Kit is the first sample kit that can be used with multiple authorized labs. The FDA said the kit is available by prescription only. Wow, not you, huh? prescription only. The, it is important to note that this is not a general authorization. Oh, too bad for a at-home collection of patients' samples using other collection kits. Swabs, media, or tests are for tests fully conducted at home, according to the news release. UK trials test whether dogs can sniff coronavirus. That would be nice if they could, huh? A new trial in the United Kingdom will, stud will study whether dogs that are trained at medical sniffers as medical sniffers can detect the coronavirus in if infected humans. Dogs have been trained to detect malaria, Parkinson's disease, and some types of cancer. According to the medical detection dogs, the UK charity that runs the training program. So that the, the, the charity is called Medical Detection Dogs. In principle, we're sure that dogs can detect COVID-19. We are, we are now looking into how we can safely catch the outdoor of the, the odor of the virus from patients and present it to the dogs, said Clara Guest, CEO and co-founder of the organization, as a, to medical detection dogs. The London School of Hygiene, Hygiene and Tropical Medicine at Durham University will work with medical detection dogs to do the trial. Wow. Dogs would learn to distinguish the scent by sniffing samples during training, which would be collected from patients at London Hospital. The trial has received more than 500,000 pounds in funding, according to Durham University. That's a few dollars, folks. Respiratory diseases such as COVID-19 change a human body odor so that the researchers believe there is a high chance good, that dogs could detect it. Dogs could potentially detect difference in temperature that could indicate a fever too. Wow.
Huh. What knows, huh? If successful, dogs could be ready after a six-week training program, according to the organization. Within six months, trained dogs could be deployed to airports and borders to identify infected travelers. That would be nice, huh, folks? The aim is that, the, the dog, is that dogs will be able to screen anyone, including those who are asymptomatic. That means, again, of course, folks, to remind the one that doesn't, don't, didn't get the news. Asymptomatic is a person has disease, is infected, has the, the virus, and don't know it. He goes about his business as normal. And tells us whether they need to be tested. Guest said, the dogs could potentially sweep up to 250 people Per hour, wow, the BBC, said, the BBC reported, call biodetection dogs or COVID-19 uh, COVID dogs. The group of six trial participants will include Labradors and Cocker Spaniels. Well, I got two Labradors here. <laughs> CDC warns pediatricians about rare inflammatory control. The CD has updated its coronavirus advisory to pediatricians to warn about a rare and sometimes deadly inflammatory condition that affects children and may be connected it may be connected to COVID-19. That's something else, huh? Called multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children or MIS-C. The condition has caused at least three deaths in the United States, health authorities say. Poor, poor children. Health care provides Health care providers who have cared for, cared or are caring for patients younger than 21 years of age meeting miss dash c criteria should report sus suspected cases to their local, state, or territorial health department. The CDC advisory says, Symptoms include fever, low blood pressure, rashes, red eyes, stomach upset, inflammatory of the heart and its arteries, some of these symptoms overlap with toxic shock syndrome and Kawasaki disease, which is one of the leading causes of heart disease in children. Kawasaki disease, wow. Children don't appear to be as vulnerable to the coronavirus as adults, but in New York, the hotspot for MIS-C in the United States, the state health department said there appears appeared to be a connection between this new illness and COVID-19 because many of the young patients tested positive for the coronavirus or its antibodies. Hmm. Miss dash c cases have been reported in 15 states already and some European nations. Wow. More than 100 cases have been reported in New York State alone, where three children ages 5, 7, 18 have died. Wow. 18 is not a kid. That's an adult. Not many of the children have shown breathing problems, which is a common symptom of coronavirus. Tests show vaccine protects monkeys against COVID-19. There is a there's new there is good news about a coronavirus vaccine being developed by Oxford University in England. Tests show that the vaccine provides protection against the virus when given in ransom macaque mac monkeys at the U.S. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, Rocky Mountain Laboratories in Hampton, Montana. According to the National Institute of Health, NIH, and a pre-print paper posted on the server BioRxiv, -Rex, six, six monkeys received the vaccine 28 days before being infected with the coronavirus. Three other Animals served as the control group and did not receive the vaccine, the pre-print paper said. The vaccine animals, the vaccinated animals appeared, uh, animals didn't get sick or develop, or develop lung problems. Wow. The NIH said in a news release, two of the three control animals developed some form of pneumonia. Rhesus monkey Monkeys are often used in tests because they share about 93% of their genes with humans, according to the National Primate Research Center. Really? Based on the research testing on humans beginning April the 23rd in the United Kingdom, the NIH said, the information has been peer-reviewed but is shared online 
to help other researchers in the race to develop COVID-19 vaccine. The Oxford scientists are making the vaccine from a weakened version of the common cold virus called antivirus, antivirus taken from the chimpanzees. The vaccine is combined with genes to trigger antibodies, antibiotics, uh, antibodies that allow the immune system to destroy the virus. Good. Wisconsin bars reopen after stay home order struck down. Some bars, here's an update on that, folks. Some bars in Wisconsin reopened on Wednesday immediately after the state Supreme Court struck down the governor's stay-at-home order designated to curb the coronavirus. Photos on the website of CBS affiliate WDJT shows drinkers standing shoulder to shoulder at the Buzzard's Nest in West Alleys. Hayden Kroger told the station why he showed up. It's been kind of boring sitting at my house. I love my fiance, but there's only so much we can handle from each other without having interaction with other people. Wisconsin Health Service Secretary designee Andrea Palm, an appointee of Democratic Governor Tony Evers, in April extended the state stay-at-home order until May 26, CNN reported. Medical experts say staying bars Medical experts say keeping bars and restaurants closed is an important way to prevent the person-to-person -person spread of the virus. Republicans in the state legislature objected and filed suit, claiming the Everest administration overstepped its authority and should have worked with the legislature. The state Supreme Court agreed on Wednesday, saying in its ruling that an agency cannot confer on itself the power to dictate the lives of law-abiding individuals as comprehensively as the order does without reaching beyond the executive branch authority. In a concurrence opinion, Just Justice Daniel Kelly said of the stay-at-home order, this comprehensive claim to control virtually every aspect aspects of a human's life, sometimes we normally associate with a prison, not a free society governed by a rule of law. That ain't that the truth, folks. This turns the state to chaos. Governor Everest told the New York Times, people will get sick. Wisconsin has recorded more than 11,000 coronavirus cases with 434 deaths, according to John Hopkins University. Wisconsin has recorded more than 11,000 corona cases with 434, according to John Hopkins University, as I just mentioned. <laughs> the, the Tavern League of Wisconsin spread the word on Facebook on Wednesday saying, in a 43 ruling, the state Supreme Court found the emergency order issued by Secretary Palm as unlawful, invalid, and unenforceable. The result of this decision is business, in, is business can open immediately. At Brothers Nest, bar owner Larry Pryor said he called City Hall to make sure it was okay to open WDJT, said. It was rough two months and we missed our customers. A lot of them are like family to us, and it was a good to see, and it was good to see a lot of familiar faces. It's been a long time, Prior said. And then it goes on to say here, I'll read you a little bit about what Trump offers detail about COVID-19 vaccine project. A group of federal officials, scientists, and drug companies are tasked with the challenge of developing a coronavirus vaccine by the end of the year. I wish them luck. And its objective is to finish developing and then to manufacture and distribute a proven coronavirus vaccine as fast as possible. Faster than that, Trump said. We'd love to see it if we can do it prior to the end of the year. Trump named the two leaders for the operation, Mosaf Saal, Ph.D. and immunologist who previously ran GlaxoSmithKline's vaccine division, and U.S. Army General Guste Perna, commander of the material command that runs logistics and supply chains. The National Institute of Health began working on a vaccine after the star code V-2 genetic code was released publicly in January and started the first phase as a clinical trial in March. Scientists, scientists across the world have identified about 100 potential vaccine candidates and are, forcing, and are focusing on 11. That seems the most promising, Trump said. Typically, vaccine development takes years. 
the FDA and other regulatory agencies have sped up the process in recent months during the hunt for a COVID-19 vaccine. Public health experts have predicted that a coronavirus vaccine could take up to 12 to 24 months to produce. Wow. Officials wrapped warp speed goal is to reduce the timeline by simultaneously preparing the manufacturing and distribution process so drug companies can fill vaccine vials once the formula is ready. Under the directive orders were placed this week for vaccine related supplies like glass vials, needles, syringes, and said Alex Azar, Secretary of Health and Human Resource or Services. I believe the operations objectives are very credible. I also believe that they are extremely challenging, Sol O said during the briefing. We will do the utmost to deliver on these objectives. He added that early data from one clinical trial make him feel even confident that a new a few hundred million doses could be distributed by the end of 2020. Trump emphasized that the process is collabor collaborative, collaborated and involves input from other countries. The country that creates a vaccine first will, de will deliver and, de and will develop and deliver it to others. We have no ego when it comes to this, Trump said. No ego whatsoever. And folks, that's about it. Comments, please leave them on the bottom of my article, folks. Again, folks, don't, remember, don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Tell it to spread it to your friends and neighbors and throughout the world if possible. I appreciate your help. And folks, from the bottom of my heart, I really believe God, if God it wills, He will protect us. I believe He will. He will protect us from the coronavirus. He will protect. It will keep us happy, healthy, and safe. And during these times and crisis and other times and disasters, folks, in the coming years to come, I fear there's even be more of it. But faith will protect you in God the Father. So, folks, stay healthy. Stay wise. If you hear anything, always check on the facts. And folks, have a good evening, a better tomorrow, and a better week. God bless. See you later.